Welcome back to the shop today. Thank you, Lucas, for the help with the intro again. Welcome back to the shop today. We will be installing something on the 2019 L5P Duramax. See, uh, kiddo's wiping off in the background there. We will be installing a bed cover. Um, I'm excited about this. I've been waiting for it for a long time. So let's get right into it. We will be installing a bed cover today from Tiger. Never had one before, but this is a tri-fold soft cover. So let's see what we gotta do to put this thing together. I did buy this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll be doing a, somewhat of an unboxing, un uh, unboxing install video. And I'll let you guys know exactly what I think about it. All right, let's get this thing opened up. Sort of seal, another seal. It's like the bed cover came with a carrying bag, so that's kind of nice. Let's get this box out of the way and open this thing up. Just in case anyone was wondering what the part number was, there it is. Like I said, I will leave the link in the description below. Yes, I know it's made in China, but what can you do? Okay, so after you get everything opened up, uh, it does something to note. It does come with a real nice uh, carrying case. So if you're not using this, or you know you don't, you know you're going to take it off when you travel, or to load your truck up, or whatever it might be. You can put it in a nice case so it'll be protected. That's kind of cool, I thought. It does come with some instructions and we'll open those up and we'll see what's inside in just a second. It also does come with um, some weather stripping. It looks like two sets of it and some sort of visual aid inside. Um, this one comes with two more pieces of weather stripping along with some uh, look like plastic grommets and a little bit more weather stripping pads. So we'll get right into it. Um, I will tell you, uh, right off the bat, this vinyl material feels pretty thick. Uh, I said I haven't had one before. That's not entirely true. I haven't had one that was this brand. I had another brand uh, on my old GMC Sierra. Um, this material feels a little bit thicker to me. Um, there's some real thick rubber, um, rubber weather stripping around here that actually looks really nice. There's some foam in here. I know I haven't taken it apart yet, but all in all, the build quality looks to be pretty decent so far. So we'll really get into it and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on um, how the quality is on this cover. Okay, these instructions actually look pretty good. Um, very good visual aids, etc. It does say that if your bed rail, which is here, and the very back of your bed where the cab is, is not the same height, you will need to use this additional weather stripping they provide in the kit. And as you can see, I didn't even notice that, but mine is not level. So I'll need to be putting that weather stripping down. That'll seal out all uh, wind noise when you're driving down the road. So let's put that on. Okay, after reviewing the instructions pretty thoroughly, uh, it does look like we're not really gonna need many tools. Maybe a razor knife if you don't have one. I will probably use some scissors and that's to cut this weather stripping along with a um, Phillips screwdriver. You might not even need this either. Okay, I do have the weather strip laid out along the back. Now where our scissors are gonna come into play. I'm just gonna take and cut the excess off. I was left over with about a three inch piece. Now we'll peel this up and stick it on the back. All right, so this is just a peel and stick adhesive. I'm just going to peel this off. If 
try to keep it right in the center. Feels pretty sticky, so on a nice and nice and snug. All right, now what it does ask you to do is placing with the uh, red tabs facing down. I do have a um, in between the rails truck box, and I wanted it for this very reason so I could cover it up. Um, these buckles feel pretty nice. Okay, so we'll have to work on the uh, clamping mechanism, etc. But all in all, first impressions. I mean, the material's really nice. I think it looks actually looks pretty good. I think it actually looks really good. So I'm in the back driver's corner of the bed. This is the rear of the bed back here. This is a safety clamp. I will tell you that the last bed cover brand I had did not have an additional safety clamp, so that's kind of cool. Um, this is what it's going to look like. Very, should be very simple. Shouldn't really need any tools. Twist this. We'll pull that down into place. You'll line this notch here with the uh, notch on your bed. You kind of begin to tighten that thing up. So I can do it with one hand here. This thing up super tight. It's pretty straightforward. And then this clamp is going to go like this. Hang on, let me readjust you there. go with the knob facing the outside we'll go behind the bed rail cover like that we'll tighten that thing down not super tight but tight enough Okay, good and tight. All secure. Nice little emblem there. This is this feels really nice, guys. I'm, a, I'm sure uh, once it gets warm a couple times, these little humps where the trifold was will relax. definitely relax down but all in all oops it's pretty good pretty pleased with it it's 
about $219 or so on Amazon. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description below. Um, really happy with the fitment. Really no tools whatsoever needed. Quality seems really good. Buckles seem high quality. Material is nice. Um, fits really well. Fit right in between the uh, right in between the rails. Nice coverage all the way down. That's what it looks like in the back. All right. Straight down through there. Yeah, overall nice. So pretty pleased with it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, more videos to come. Until then, take care.